Hello everyone, welcome back to iRacing ARCA at Nashville Super Speedway. I am back after a week off, where I thought was going to be a permanent vacation from iRacing, but I've uh, come to decide I still want to do it. Uh, didn't get much practice here. My sim racing equipment was in the closet for most of the week. Just hooked it all back up. I had a bad experience in the K5 championship last Sunday. I am definitely, I mean, I can't even, if I change my mind now, it's too late. I withdrew from the league via the iRacing UI. Like, Nick would have to let me back in, and I'm just, no, I'm just, it's too much stress. It's fun, but. All clear on pit exit, you can push now. I found that I'm so careful because I don't want to be the cause of a big mess up and show up on 10 different people's videos and all that. And um, what it ended up doing was making me do exactly that. And I messed up in front of the leaders, caused a caution. The track temperature is falling. It's now 88 Fahrenheit. Anyway, this is a new week. It's Sunday. I didn't check to see, uh... Still there. I'm gonna come down here. Hold your line. Oh, okay. This is like... A 1.5k strength of field. There was only like 30 sign-ups. And, uh, so this is probably only a 15 car field. Looks like I'm the number three, which means D3. out of 30 people D3. who signed up. Just posted a that was scary. Wasn't expecting him to just come up there. Well, let's try to get around you. Awesome. Hey, watch out, I'm texting here. Thank you. <laughs> I better not slam into the wall there. My practice is over. It's going to bring me out. But not quite right away. So yeah, blah, 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 blah. I was bound and determined I was never going to do this again. I, uh, I had actually gone into my channel here and made every video private. That lasted for about two days. Or maybe even four, three or four days until I put them back to public again. Luckily, I'm not dumb enough to delete them. Um, Exit is clear. Don't cross the line. All right, Justin, we've got two laps to get the job done, mate. So it's Sunday afternoon, and I decided, you know what, I want to do this uh, Nashville Super Speedway race this week. Let me. Uh, Try to focus a little on qualifying here, and then I can talk some more. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time black. Not good, not good. P2. The leader's just done it, 20.8. Behind has just done a 30.7. Oh, I thought I'd gain a ton there, but I didn't really. There's the flag, it's over. I'm looking up at my other monitor at the standings, not looking at where I'm going. I don't know how I'm gonna do on the long run. 
This looks like a pretty low strength of field, considering it's probably the top split. Maybe not, but I'm just going by the fact that the top guy is a 3,400. I mean, it would be weird. It doesn't really matter. It is what it is. This might as well be a bottom split race with uh, a few higher-ish guys in it. So, yeah, um, what was I getting at? I need to be thicker-skinned. I have still yet to watch anyone's video to see how it looked. I haven't seen a replay. I know I caused the caution and I know it cost, caused problems for the leaders. And it was also super early in the race and I got the heck out of there. <clears throat> and turns out, obviously, if you watched any of those people's videos, it looks like it was a disaster beyond that. It's not like it cleaned up once I left. It was Bristol. So looking back on some things, Bristol was a problem. Roswell, man. Nice spot. For a lot of people. Um, what happened is I was actually involved in a caution. The previous caution. I believe the second caution of the race. Which. I don't I can't quite remember. It was on a restart, basically. And I got taken out from behind. I was probably being a little too careful. Though it was definitely the person behind's fault. I still, I, I look at that and I'm like, that's probably being too careful. Since it was an immediate restart, the uh, field started single file, which I knew, obviously. But what didn't really dawn on my head for about five laps, and this is just, I don't know how many laps it was, it wasn't very many, was that at Bristol, with 34 cars, and me not being that fast, a single file start, the leaders are going to be behind me. ASAP. And for some reason, this thought occurs to me going into, I don't know if it was going into one or three, doesn't matter. Can't remember. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to check my relative. And bam, red names, point one maybe. Basically, it means that there are the cars behind me. And all of a sudden, I'm spinning. And then I hear in voice chat, all you had to do was be predictable. And I'm like, yeah, I know what happened there. That's the end of the session. I did the classic looking not where I was driving and turning that way or something. Whatever it was, I was just supposed to hold a line. That was Nick's main rule. If you're getting lapped, just run a line. High, low, just run a line. And I didn't do it. Caused a caution. And I'm so thin-skinned, I just had to get out of there. But we're putting that behind. I I I like the idea of doing the league races. I want to get better at i racing. I want to be like just more competent before I step back into something like that. And I just I do want to keep racing though. I decided to record it. I had run it through my head to just kind of disappear from YouTube, but just run races. I wasn't going to watch anyone's videos anymore. I wasn't going to comment on them. Stay behind the pace car. But I changed my mind on all that. Let's hit the tires. Make them last the rest of the race. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. Pit road is closed. Et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, here I am. And... In a race like this, I don't want to be... I, I feel bad if I did the same thing, but... Is it weird that I wouldn't feel as bad because it's just an official race? I don't know. I don't know what gear to start in. Whatever gear it is, it'll be wrong. We try to focus on the start so we can have a clean start. Go green, stay focused. Okay, Justin, be off. ready. Watch for the lights. Let's go. Green, green. green. Pit road is now open.
All right. Starts okay. We're still in this. The next car is the leader. I'm just throwing it in there so hard because I feel like Ruben is just beating me down. I, just, I hope he just takes it and then I can. Uh... Hold your line. Hold your line. Inside the clear. Ooh, I got the wall, but it wasn't even a 0x. Whoa, there goes a car behind me, and now we've got space. E3, the leader has just done a 30.9. The guy in front has just done a 30.9. The guy behind has just done a 30.8. Alright. I did watch Colton uh, run this, and I picked his brain a little bit, and I get the idea of what to do to save tires, but my feet and my hands need to be able to perform it, and that's just going to take practice. That's your quickest lap in this session. I do understand the concept of turning the wheel as little as possible to save the right front. I do get it. And I do get that means yawing out the rear just a little bit. Not like spinning, but I can feel it when it does it. <clears throat> anyway. That's a new fastest lap for Valdez, 30.8. I don't think I've ever run an official race here before. I own the track already because about a year ago or so, a Gavin did a hosted race here. 77 lap. It was like a subscriber special type event. I think it was a 777 subscriber special. Considering I think he's at like 2,700 now, he's had a pretty good year in the YouTube front, I would say. I remember Colton won that race, and I remember being the last car in the lead lap, and it went caution free. That was like 15th or something. I don't remember how many there were in the race, maybe 25, 30. I didn't record it, even though I was recording at the time, because it didn't occur to me to record someone else's hosted race, especially a YouTuber. Now I understand that pretty much everybody who records races records them. And if you follow those people, you can watch certain races from eight different viewpoints if you want. The captain Valdez in front is now 0.9. That lap was a 31.1. Okay, Justin, that's good consistency. Keep it up. The gap behind is now 0.7. Anyway, I, so I bought the track to do that, and I don't think it's ever come up in anything that I run again. I could be wrong, but I don't recall. Well, we might lose third. I mean, over the long run, we could lose more, but right now, third is that the only one that's really a threat. I think I'm driving it in too hard. I used to feel like I was good at saving tires, and I knew if I was, it was because I was slow, but um, now I know that I'm not, and I think I was just comparing myself to the low splits that I got into. The lap time was at 31.3. Yeah, car behind me is gaining fast. I'm not going to fight him if he gets here. I'm just going to hope he falls off faster. Uh, see the whole don't turn the wheel any more than possible. I feel like I just had the wheel hard crank left there. Scrubbing. Basically using the right front to not only turn, but to slow the car down. And that, you know, that'll kill the grip. I need to not worry about the guy behind me. Fourth would be just fine. Ruben's really hounding Roswell up there. 
I don't mean that in a bad way, I just mean he's... He's up there contending, you know? How many laps is this race? I still haven't looked. 35? Okay. And we're on 11? We're almost a third of the way through it already. Okay, Justin. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. This would have been a good race to do the league in. It, it lends itself to cleaner racing, I think. Especially, definitely more than Bristol and Rockingham. That's for sure. The fact that I'm still with these guys should probably be a worry to me. That I'm gonna fall off hard. A car, two cars back. Yeah, okay. A blue, blue name. Oh, another thing I did was, was uninstalled everything but iRacing itself. By that I mean race labs, crew chief, trading paints, whatever else, OBS to record it. So I had to redownload that. Luckily I didn't doubt the Elite I racing. I just Clear inside. I don't know if he was trying to scare me up or if he was actually gonna hit me, but I bailed. To me it looked like he was gonna hit me there. I could be wrong, but we lived to fight another lap. Especially since I said I was just gonna not fight him. I'm hoping he's burning his stuff up a lot and will fall back to me and if not I ain't gonna complain about fourth as we stand now obviously things can still change you've just done a 31.5 Really fun track. Saw a lot of complaining about it online. I don't know if it's when people are more similar speed, if it's harder to pass. But there's tracks like that where you can be a lot slower, but if you don't keep it up, if you keep it on the preferred line, it's really hard to pass. I don't know if that's the issue. There's definitely a lot more complaining going on about next week's track. And if you're out of the loop, that is USA International Dirt. Arca ran dirt at Knoxville last season, and a lot of people don't like it. I personally like the change of pace. I run dirt. I will admit the Arca car isn't nearly as fun to drive on dirt as an actual dirt car. At least for me. I'm not going to be... One of those guys who says my opinion is absolutely the best, or the right opinion, I should say. And I feel like the 7 is already going to fall back to me. Okay, Justin, halfway home. Fuel looks good. That lap time was 31.6. Outside. Clear. Clear. I just gotta watch her mirror. Hopefully, we pull back away from him. Looks like he's going to disappear quickly if I don't do anything different. 
The leaders, however, have gotten away from me. Not that I expected to contend for the win. Yeah, we've already put point eight. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 0 0.9. That was a uh, 31.4. Alright, we're on lap. Oh wow, this race is just flying by. I'm glad I came to my senses and came right back. I, I didn't need the week off, I really did. I my my mind went a lot of places. Another thing about running Nick's League is I, I was depriving myself of a lot of sleep to do it. And at some point, you gotta. I, I just gotta be like, you know what? Sunday nights don't work that good for me. Another thing I, I understand is I'm only even making these races because he's not getting that many more people. Like, the lobby can hold 60. 34 qualify in and I want to say 38 or 39 showed up to Bristol and I still qualified 31st I barely made it like Bristol wasn't gonna be my part of me you know part of me wanted to skip it and Rockingham and I just wonder where my mind would be had I done both of those things obviously I wouldn't have had the incidents that I did uh, yeah we're the same on the break part didn't even realize I had never unmuted this <laughs> I'm four to the one. That's how the price you're guys are hanging on longer. The guy behind me is gaining. I'm but running he's... this really conservative but fast like tire line. I can run it all race. The answer, Valdez ahead is now Break the trail break a bit early, let it roll and then get on it. Oh, what was my He's a lap down, so I, yeah, I break a I little more. I, I use the car's rotation with like brakes and gas to steer more into the turn than the steering wheel. Makes sense. But you gotta take like the real wide, real wide, come in, dip in, dip out sort of deal. I got you a double A back kind of deal. It's a very consistent line, and like, once the, the tire fall off happens for everybody else, you can do this all day. It's like almost identical to mine, just a little bit higher. Just unfortunately, I started in last place, so I don't think I'm catching the leaders. Not enough laps for that. Well. Well, we are running half a second faster a lap right now. Although you've been in traffic, so that makes a huge difference. Yeah, you top four are just way too fast right now. Gap to Valdez ahead is now 2.4 seconds. I'm surprised you haven't lapped half the field. I'm uh, starting to push. Having a lot of fun, and it's not just because the race is going low. You've just done a thirty-one point eight. Got a pretty slow car up here. Need to be cognizant of what he's going to be doing. I don't know if he's just slow on pace or if he had an incident. Car high. 
Leaders, I'm around low. Just Let's have go by. Pretty consistent. Step over, thank you, sir. Please wreck them. The answer, Valdez ahead is now 2.0. Pushing like crazy, but I also realize that I have nothing to race for. Somehow the guy that had passed me earlier is now 7.2 behind me. The guy behind me is faster, but he's not on the same lap. I don't know if he wants to get around me. I don't have a problem with that, but... So far, he seems content to just hang. Apparently, I'm gaining on second. I don't think I have enough time to do anything about it. He might just be. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. You've just done a 31.8. I'll see what I can do for hard pushing. Maybe he'll hit the wall or something. Nah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to really screw up. Gap to Valdez, ahead is now 1.6. White flag, one more left to go. Okay, Justin, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Yeah, I'd say maybe 10 more laps and I could catch his bumper, but that's okay. Part of these races is knowing how much tire to use, because if you save but fall too far back, you're not going to get it back, you know? Podium finish. Nice one. Good win, Riot Roswell. Nice race, everyone. Yep, good race, everybody. Just been getting the tires low enough, I guess. Thanks, Justin. Good race, guys. All right, I'll take it. One, two, three, yeah, I finished one, say, two, no, three. Uh, that was very clean, man. Good job, everybody. Good race. Very clean race, loved it. Except for the dude that hit me. Okay, right man. <laughs> I was a little off these guys. Go ahead. Hit, hit me in the rear end. I turned you because you're blocking, bud. Hey. You must not watch fucking NASCAR very often, do you? You can't swing down into me and then fucking block me around the corner. You're going to get turned, bud. I didn't hear you warn him on the mic, though. But that's okay. Shows the sportsmanship. Fucking, you can't fucking, you can't race, so you're a bitch. Hmm. Dude, you get to my corner, one corner... And then you immediately go and bump me. You don't even try to make a fucking pass. Didn't tell him that you were faster. So a little... I came up to go around you three different times, and you swung down in front of me. You weren't even close, man. But good, good try. Okay, let's mute that and watch some incidents. This was... Unfortunate for the eight. <laughs> my mouse pointer at there it is so 
So that was the four. Right behind me this happens. Four hits the wall. And just loses coming out. Just kills the eight. Hits him again. Looks like everyone else managed to get around that, but... Bit of contact. Oh, 12 washed up. And then the 12 spins. It's trying to save it. Oh my god. A lot of people had to slow up a lot for that, but everyone survived. Wall hit. Stuck on the wall. That's kind of what happened. <laughs> Nothing much exciting here. Okay, this might be something. Is this what the arguing was about? I didn't really pay attention to which car numbers it was. Well, this runs them over. I accidentally hit a button. We'll call that good then. Yeah, the bottom split was a 673. So yeah, not a lot of people signed up for this. And definitely not a lot of high I-rated people if I was the number three in the top split. Um, yeah, this guy fell off 10 seconds from me after I let him by, and then it wasn't long before the incidents. And an off-track, it looks like. Another off-track? And that was probably the crash we saw, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. No, that was the first crash, not the... Wow, some of that other stuff didn't even cause 4Xs. It is what it is. Stayed at 499 safety, gained 42 I rating, getting close to... Well, this will be the highest I've ever been. I've never been up to 2195 before. Close to 2200. Kind of count milestones at every 100. I'll take it. Thanks for watching.